How do my artists and it has been a while since we've done a weekend Meowth stage. There's a new uh, pretty good Pokemon running about in Celesteela. It's got the ability that if it works it will get rid of all um, non-support Pokemon on the stage. So I went in with uh, just Celesteela and just Gengar. I will show you two different runs of different ways I thought of doing it. And I know I made a lot of mistakes in this. I was just trying to get to grips with how to use this. The best way to do it if it was to always go for the Celesteela matches. Or if I should try and always make matches a free. Because Celesteela doesn't go off that often. Mines is up to about level 3 or so, so it's relatively highly skill leveled. Uh, it's level 5, not that damage ma matters much when you're uh, doing the weekend Meowth. I thought this is a good way, as if you can get Gengar to go off the same time as Celesteela in the Skyfall, then that way you will have no support Pokemon on the screen that can be just left for coins. So that was the thinking around why you would do Celesteela. It didn't necessarily work as well as I thought it could have, but it works relatively well. It's Maybe after you've got it to about skill level 5 it could be incredible, but at this stage it's okay and there are a lot of other better ones. Um, the next one that I'll show you involves um, Rayquaza as the Mega, and I feel like that could be a little bit better worked. That could be worked a little bit more and could be somewhat more efficient, but I will see. I'll keep working through it and seeing how it goes, trying to get the Celesteela boosted up a little bit more. And the main thing again is just being able to get combos to be able to work through and have as many Celesteela and Gengar on the stage. That was the reason I thought to use Rayquaza was because uh, when Celesteela works it gets rid of them all on the stage but then you've immediately got the, all the ones in the Skyfall. I thought if you're going to use Rayquaza it can help get rid of quite a few of those ones that are in the Skyfall itself. So we'll see that in just a second. This is not the best run. I made quite a few mistakes. It was my very first one. I will try it over the next couple of weeks, see if I can get it consistently boosted above 8,000, as that's usually what I would get um, with something like uh, if I use a flying team. That's what that um, would most often be. But here we go with the Rayquaza now. I was hoping this one would work a little bit better just being able to work through what was in the Skyfall. I do think this could be a very good way of working um, the Weekend Meowth stage for a lot of coins if there's good support. I think Gengar could work but they've got the immediate problem of what's happening with the Skyfall which isn't very helpful and at this stage Celesteela isn't going to be skill leveled too highly. Maybe if it comes back as a special stage it'll drop skill boosts, after then it could be absolutely incredible. At this stage it's okay and with all four of my runs I think I averaged about 6,000 coins each time. I also tried it just Celesteela, no Mega at all. That was probably the worst, I think that was just 5,900 and it felt it didn't feel good while I was doing it, it felt like it wasn't really going off. There were just so many support Pokemon on the stage and then in the Skyfall that it was very unhelpful. So I think having Gengar as a Mega or having um, Rayquaza as the Mega, that way they can help with the Skyfall. And in between, if you've not got like a match of four with the Celesteela, you can always try to make just matches a three, even if that's with the Pidgeys. Trying to make matches a free and getting it to work. And then occasionally Celesteela will work with the Eliminate, but at the moment it's not very consistent. And as such, it's not the best way to farm some coins over the weekend. If you have any other ideas for what could be okay with this, I think the best way to work with Celesteela is to have at most one more Pokemon. And if that's a good Mega, that's fine. If it were to be something like a Cosmoem with a uh, Quirky, maybe that, maybe something with a Jack Plus Plus like a Tapu Koko, perhaps. I will see how it goes. I will try some of those uh, next week. This was just very preliminary. I wanted to show you how I was doing with it and what it seemed like. It kind of works. 
It's consistent in the sense that it will always get you about 6,000, but that's not the kind of consistency you'd want. You want something around 8,000. So if you are going to use the gem that you're able to get about 40,000 every week, always remembering to use that uh, plus five moves as that is integral to getting much better score and it's worth a thousand coins, no doubt. But there we go, 6,300, just 1,000 less than the Meowth. Not terrible, not the best, and I will keep working at it over the next few weeks, seeing what works with it, and if anything is fantastic and is fantastically consistent, I will certainly put another video up and let you know. But thank you very much for watching, and how do my Martists? Eggs! Eggs! E-double-G-S eggs! <laughs>